Glory be to God. I thank God for the opportunity to be before you this morning again and to come your way to bring this word of life to you. I will be taking my test this morning from the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 10. 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 10. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Indeed, and enlarge my coasts, and that thy hand may be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And that God granted him that which he requested. God granted him that which he requested. Hallelujah. The importance of prayer should not be underemphasized in our life. Prayer is very essential. We need to find time to pray. We need to know that without prayer, there can be no progress in our life. Jabez find time to pray. Jabez's mother named him Jabez, meaning a child born in sorrow. But Jabez prayed and sought the God of Israel. Jabez find time to seek God. And God granted him the desire of his heart. We all need to find time to pray. Whatever you are challenged with, whatever the circumstance you find yourself, prayer takes the place that can bring us out of that situation, out of that circumstance. In the place of prayer, we find victory. In the place of prayer, we find solution to all our challenges. When we pray, the Lord will intervene in our matter. God had the prayer of Jabez. Jabez prayed. And God answer him. When you pray, God will answer you. You may even have to pray with fasting, seeking God with fasting and prayer. God will surely come into your situation. He will come into that circumstance. And God will come into that thing that is challenging your life. Jabez noted by his name that the mother, even at conception, was unhappy with the pregnancy. If it were in this modern day, possibly the woman would have aborted the baby. And whatever the challenge you are passing through in your home, in your marriage, in your family, today I'll be specially praying for families. I'm praying for home. I'll be praying for your family. I'll be praying for your home that God will deliver you from all trouble. I'll be praying for that child, for that man, for that woman that is born out of evil circumstances those who are born in a bad environment, and those who see every sign of evil in their life. Jabez saw the sign. He saw the mark. He was hated by his brethren. He was not accepted in his father's house, and everything was seems to be working against him. But he sought the face of God. He prayed and prayed to the God that answered prayer, and that brought a change in his life. If you can pray, God will bring a change in your life. If you can add fasting to your prayer, if you can dedicate time to pray, not just a casual prayer of one minute or two minutes, but really finding time to pray, seek God, and there will be solution. That persisting problem in your life will go. That problem that is confronting your business, confronting your marriage will go. That instability in your life will be a thing of the past. Find time to pray. In the place of prayer, there is power. power prayer moves mountains. Prayer changes circumstances. So today I'm going to pray for your marriage. Whatever challenge the enemy has put in your home, whatever confusion between you and your husband today, I pray, I break the yoke in the name of Jesus. I pray for that man, for that child that is born out of wedlock, that is sorrowful, that circumstances are uncomfortable in your life. Today, I ask that the Lord deliver you from all your troubles in the name of Jesus. I pray there will be a change of circumstance. The story will change. The story of your life will change. Evil pattern in your life be broken in the name of Jesus. Evil arrow against your life be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Receive salvation. Receive liberty. In the name of Jesus, Satan, I command you, take off your hand from the life of this young man. 
take off your life from the life of this young woman. I pray that your marriage will be fruitful, your womb will be fruitful. I pray that you blossom in the name of Jesus. That power frustrating your life be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the power of hell over your life be broken in the name of Jesus. Receive grace on a higher dimension and begin to go forward in every area of your life. Every power that limits your destiny in the name of Jesus, let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. That cord that tie you down, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. That shame that break, that holds you down, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Let there be progress in your life. Let there be testimony in your mouth. This year, the Lord grants your prayer. The Lord grants your petition. I will be a going forward in your life from this day in the name of Jesus. God bless you. I ask that you subscribe to this channel. And I also say you can, con you can contact me via my telephone. It's already in the description. You can call me through the WhatsApp and we can share together in the place of prayer. My, myself and my team will pray for you because God loves you and he wants the best for you. No matter what you are passing through, the story will change and good news will begin to happen in your life. God bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you. The name of the Lord defend you. The God of Israel uphold you. You are blessed this day in Jesus' name.